Alright guys, so what's up y'all, finally back to this video, get a really quick Dokken Battle video, gotta do it really quick, of course, I'm gonna say back with a really quick Dokken Battle video, of course, but yeah, oh, it's snowing in the US, no it isn't, well, the other day for me, it was snowing, at times of recording, so we did get the new, we get, did get some new info again, I'm doing one video right now, again, because it's weird, because I did the Ingo Gogeta video, I have that video ready to go, um, they did, like, you know, all the videos, stuff like that, last couple of days, so yeah, we did get some new info, of course, right here, for the Super Dark Ball Heroes special crossover campaign, um, we got, we got a new survey right here, which for five year anniversary, they did this as well, we got some new stuff as well, some kind of like interesting news that JP stuff got that Global didn't get. But I won't go for all the main Global, global questions because it really isn't that long though. So hopefully I wanted to make this video too too long or go on a little bit. So yeah, I did change my positioning just a little bit though because um I was kind of you know um I feel like I was kind of backed up too much a little bit though. But I am trying to change up my positions just a little bit. So you got to see me a little bit better because I kind of noticed that um maybe when I did the Inko Gita video I kind of moved up a little bit. But yeah, like I said though, we, sh um, we have the full info right here, of course, and I'm going to cut the video in a couple minutes, so I get the um, info up and stuff like that for the proper survey stuff. So yeah, basically it's like, okay, did you enjoy Dragon Ball Heroes? Did it actually dig out live, I think for 4am for me, or 2am? Um, no, it was 4am, because I was um, asleep and stuff like that. I fell asleep, woke up for a while, kind of saw this, I was like, oh yeah, I can do a video on it when I get up in the morning. So yeah, of course. Yeah, so we did get, um, of course, the Heroes campaign and stuff like that. Of course, we got that um, little um, survey for this. Again, they did this for the 5 year anniversary. I was hoping they do more of these in the future so they can improve upon the game and stuff like that. So yeah, again, little stuff like that, of course, you know, in the game and stuff like that, people are going to always improve. So I feel... Oh, my dog's right here. Hello, dog. Um, but yeah, um, like I said, um, of course, you know, in the game and stuff like that, they're going to keep improving over and over and over again. They're going to want to keep having this feedback. They want to listen to you guys. They want to keep going and going and going. Thank you, Garbage Can outside my house. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video right here. I got the full questions. I did the survey myself. I have it done. I just have the full questions up in the pictures right there, down here, wherever you see it right here. So yeah, um, go go the editing phase, editing phase, editing out. Bye, bye, bye. I'm getting those. So yeah, editing phase. Whoosh. Who's Who's back in? Yeah, but of course I am back though. Like I said, I got the um, full info right up here. Again, I screenshot everything so it could be a little bit more easier. There really wasn't that much questions though, so hopefully this video won't go on too long. It's me talking a lot. So yeah, the first question it did ask if you're male or female. Of course, I put male. If you're like, you know, your age and stuff like that. Yes, I am 20, of course, you know. Now, Boomer, because Boomer's like people in the 30s. There you catch my drift. <laughs> of course. Um, and that is asking if you've been playing like Dragon Ball Z, like Dragon Battle before. We've been playing Dragon Battle for like, um, you know, how long have you been playing it before the um, celebration campaign and stuff like that, of course. Again, little stuff like that here and there, like I said. Um, again, it's little simple stuff that I always kind of ask. I did zoom in a little bit because it was kind of blurry a little bit for me when I um, popped it out um, onto the next one right here. Um, I'm good zooming though. I did screenshot the best I could right here though, of course. Um, but yeah. Um, then right here, it's just asking, um, I'm using my mouse, and of course, I use my main computer mouse right here, I'm using my, um, you know, wire, unwired mouse, so that's why it looks kind of weird when I shift it over and stuff like that, so yeah. Right here, I also asked, um, for the campaign, if, like, if there was enough, enough content, it felt kind of like a regular, you know, like, campaign for this, it has, like, a new, a new story event, new awakenings, new medals, you can farm up for the units, a new, like, you know, not infinite Dragon Ball history, essentially, um, an easier version of that, essentially, so yeah, um, Again, like, defense and stuff like that were really easy and stuff like that to go through. It wasn't that hard, it wasn't that difficult. Again, this is more you know, just a crossover thing. It's not meant to be like, oh my gosh, overly broken. Use aren't meant to be like overly broken. Just crossover units that come back once a year. Again, I actually did do a summoning video for it. I've, I was kind of surprised you guys with it and stuff like that, of course, and I still am. Um, Again, just trying to find something a little bit. So yeah, um, I think I spoiled it. Some of the videos I think I did. I, I don't know. Again, I record some videos. I, I, I did kind of forget when I was saying stuff like that, of course. But yeah. Um, I just question basically, um, were all this uh, stuff like good again with the new like you know story event was that good? Was the um um Dokken Fest event good? Was it protect history? Hope you did that Dokken Fest event as well because once you do that event, it can it, like once you do that event, if you if like you know you're missing one medal for Vegito, sadly you will have to wait for that event to come back because it's not like a regular Dokken Fest event. It's like a Rawlis where it has to come back once and then uh, that will be available with keys. Um, unfortunately, it was a crossover thing, so it was only up during the crossover campaign, so you cannot, unfortunately, go inside the, um, keys and using and stuff like that, because they were doing that as well. Um, they were basically asking, like, where the event's good and stuff like that, like, if you, what do you think? And that was actually really solid. The, this crossover probably definitely was the best one. That was gonna be used. The other ones were actually amazing as well. They were all good. But this year, actually really take the cake, like, Doka Fest and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, um, what, they, yeah, they asked the events weren't good and stuff like that. Again, some people were not really complaining, but again, because all the multis, like, they're all featured, like, guaranteed features. So no matter what you did, you're always we're going to get a good uh, unit. Because all the heroes units aren't all bad, besides, you know, everybody doesn't like Super Mirror. Like, Super Mirror is okay. I mean, they're not all bad, but at the same time, it's like, um, 
the like, manner was all featured. So if you're pulling like Vegito's out the out your butt and like, like yeah, like everybody and their mom was pulling Vegito's and stuff like that out their butts. Um, in the brawlers and stuff like that. Yeah, a lot of people did get Vegito. I did go around 500 stones exactly. And I did get like I'm, I'm not joking. I actually no, I'm not gonna say anything. Actually, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. Um, you guys can see it for yourself. I'm not gonna say anything. So yeah. But they don't know if it wasn't good or not, but that of course then it's like did you do summons on the hero banner? And of course I did though, of course. So yeah, um back this up. Go in here. Um next one basically asking, um Um, why did you like do the multi stuff like that? Like did you like the characters? Um, with stats, stuff like that, different skills, like we're all like the stats, the um, passive effects, stuff like that, with those all good. Um, this right here, the, the other one is like, um, did you give us like, you know, which character, like, um, I, it says always give it to each other. Um, I guess like basically, like, whenever a new character comes out, release to you, like, something for it automatically and stuff like that. You know, everybody in the mom in the Duckin community did something for these guys, so, um, so yeah. Um, again, everybody did it. Like, everybody, their mom did it as well. So, yeah. Um, again, I, if I clicked all, if there was all the above button, I would have clicked them already. So, yeah, that's really good, though, there. Um, got out to the next one. Um, Eleven basically asks, oh, important question right here. Really, really important right here. I'm actually going to do this really quick. Um, right here. Really, really, really important right here. It's basically asking, um, for Dragon Ball Heroes, like, what do you do want to see, like, in the future for us? LR is right there. That's the question JP got during the 5 year anniversary info. They did also ask, like, you know, to correct their video for it. You know, they took their video for it as well, asking, do you want to see more Joker Fest in LR? So a lot of people didn't really, like, you know, kind of, Talking about that survey, no one really did videos all for it. Again, I'm trying to do videos like this so I can help out all, all other YouTubers and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, like I said though, um, right here, this is the question they had for JP. Like, do you want to see LR collab characters? Like, do you want to see LR heroes? Do you want to see, like, you know, again, Kaoken Blue Goku? Um, Kaoken Blue Goku, why did I say that? Um, Kaoken Blue Vegito? You want to see Super Saiyan 4 Xeno Vegito? You want to see Xeno Pan? I'm just joking. Um, oh yeah, LR limit breaking, you know, Super Saiyan 4, you know, Goku and Xeno Vegeta. That's an LR right there. Like, that's money right there. Again, Heroes is like on a gold mine. They're on a diamond mine of just like, actually, I fix my back. It's kind of kill me right now. Um, again, like, this ain't on a freaking gold mine with all this stuff, stuff guys. This ain't got a gold mine with all this. So, yeah, um, again, it's definitely like, yeah, EZA, doing some EZA, some more story events for them. Kid exclusive skill orders. I did not see that before. Yes. Again, all the above. Chain battle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Super battle roll. Like, who's getting the opponents? Like, your, your hero streams we don't even have yet. Um, we know more some old feature units stuff like that released you know, every year and stuff like that. Category summons, um, yearly summons and stuff like that. Again, yearly is actually really good. Like once a year, don't do it like you know. Oh yeah, how can Blue Goku, how can Blue Vegito confirmed and stuff like that. I don't feel like they should do it frequently because then there's no point in having the crossover anymore. Because it's like oh my gosh, we're just getting like these units almost all, all, all the time, no matter what. So. Again, it's like, oh my gosh, like, we're getting the same units over and over and over and over again, like, almost every kind of, like, ish month, or every other month, and stuff like that. Again, it really wouldn't be special anymore if they came out almost, like, every month. I feel like once a year is actually perfect for these guys. Again, it's a crossover thing they do once a year, and stuff like that. Uh, I know One Piece, did they have a crossover One Piece, a Raleigh? Well, Raleigh is, I think, the same people who made Dragon Ball anyway, though, so, yeah. Go ahead and ask if you want, if you watched, um, the Doku Volume 3 and stuff like that, of course, but yeah. Um, again, really important question for number 11. I know a lot of questions they got Goba got the Jimmy Ding kit. But this one actually really is important though of course. But yeah, that's actually really good right there. Um then right here I think it's um yeah, basically, if you watch the Doka Now and stuff like that, we're satisfied with it. It's always good every year. I love Doka Now. It gives us information we don't have. Bar up the same day was good. We're gonna probably have one for that next year. But, um what was the next one? Same day. Um Kaken Blue Goku was amazing. I thought we'd get like a global first for Christmas, but probably not. A lot of people think for part two we could. I highly feel like we're not, but whatever. Um yeah, we'll see Doku now um, to be continued. Would you like to see Doku now basically continue on? Yes, it's beautiful. I love it. It's amazing. You guys are doing a really good job for it. Even if it was recorded, even with the whole global, global you know, pandemic going on on around the world, this still is good though. So give me again. It's no, it's a pre-recorded thing. It's not actually live. If they did it, they're live. They would have said it. it even told me the stuff is a pre-recorded video. They specifically say it. And even my video, I pointed out, I highlighted it myself. I was like, um, I, oh my. Out um, they specifically did say it was a video. They specifically said it was a video. Again, they specifically said it was a video. Some people don't want to listen to it yet. Um, you know, I had to say it once or twice though. And they were here basically asking um characters like what you like to see in the in the future for Dr. Best and stuff like that. Like any more characters who have like image cards and stuff like that, like multiple characters, you know, like Piccolo clones. Um, I don't know, like um but characters who have like clone cards, yeah, like Piccolo clones, um, Trenchco 17, like even like GT and stuff like that. They need to really do change that though, of course. Again, I feel like they kind of are starting to notice a little bit. It, it's been almost like five, six years at this point going on. At times recording is still December. Um, again, you know, again, for years and stuff like that, they've been going on about this anyway. Those new rarities. 
don't really need it though, because LRs are pretty much uh, at this point the, the money maker for Doken. Again, every LR I ever has before anyway though. They were asking characters have not appeared yet before. I say probably do that one. I say addition for characters. I meant to say actually the first one. Um, characters we do not have yet. Again, they're gonna do like Doken Fest, you know, like LR, you know, Kid Goku, LR, a new LR Jimmy King Piccolo. They could do like Garlic Jr. Um, again, a little stuff like that, of course, like I said. Um, Again, characters we haven't seen before, I feel like kind of everybody should do that. Or, you know, additional characters we'll probably see. You know, again, this, I, I, again, I'm going to pick all the above, it would be perfect right here. Because, again, like, dual cards and stuff like that with characters, yeah, like, having different names. You know, like, like all the LR, TR, and, like, uh, SSR, you have, like, people have, like, dual names and stuff like that for them. Um, that's actually really good, though, of course. Um, right there, um, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, because it's my ID and stuff like that, so, yeah. Um, that was pretty much it for that though of course um again those are all full questions and stuff like that also we got some more questions for jp right here and the goal we did not get right here basically asking what characters have not appeared yet in the game and 17 is like uh in the, uh, the next question after that is like tell us which character do you want to see uh people thinking garlic junior real like basically all these people grand priest transforming broly normal L um yeah again like you know people amora right there <laughs> mirror um miris um um, again, like, little stuff like that, of course, and garlic, oh, actually, the, I think JB has a little question right here, actually, um, right here, um, I do want to mention that right here for JP right here, they do specifically say what characters do you want in the future, um, that says garlic, that's basically garlic junior right there, um, or his full name and stuff like that, a lot of people are thinking that, because again, this is specifically just for JP, you know, people translating it and stuff like that, um, because the goal that was pretty much it for the survey, though, but for this specifically, um, it does ask for Garlic Jr. That's Garlic right there. That's Garlic Jr. right there. And everybody's been asking for that for years. So can we see a Garlic Jr. in the future? A lot of people are thinking that. Of course, you know, it's correct. Again, that's another question that everybody's been asking. Which character do you want to see? Again, I think it's more of a JP thing because Goldboy didn't get it. I didn't see it at all unless I answered it wrong or whatever. But I don't believe I did because I always I make sure just in case. And I watch other people's videos before I watch my videos to make sure just in case. So yeah, going to go ahead and end the video here. Like I said, um, didn't, it, didn't really need to be that long though. But yeah, like I said, that was a full hero thing. Can we see Garlic Jr. coming in the future that did that did but typically did say garlic but it didn't say garlic junior though of course because everybody in the mom i just got it off the right by the way so yeah again i don't really want garlic junior in the game because that's been years ago and they did kind of tease it there they did, they did for android 13 where we had like this arctic background when the, when the, i think it was last year with the go on to sell download celebration three, three million um yeah three million download celebration we had android 13's um you know whole arctic fest in the background i think it did make a video for it as well um we had that and that wasn't in the game at all we had the buhan background again stuff we don't know like stuff that you know it's been in the game that was going to tease like it's coming out like gohan for example like every, every time before the download celebration piccolo we had pick on um, press piccolo last year then after that it's like okay we have cell confirmed for the um download celebration this year it was gohan so yeah of course download celebration like you know oh so we go on download celebration so yeah gonna go ahead and end the video here didn't need to really make it that long or whatever so yeah um again just a little quick thing of those today so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you got everything you needed again that was the global one i would do the jp but that was, the video would way too long i'm um, probably like maybe 16 15 plus minutes i don't mind it being that long but i want to sit, i don't want you guys sitting through here doing all this type of thing uh, you know sitting here just watching me rant on and talk about this a lot i mean i know you guys are gonna love it because people watch the video and support it you guys love me so much thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, see you guys later, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Great day. All cool junk again, though. Stay safe, safe. Flush your hands. God bless. What do you guys think about the survey? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Again, I want to do, I do really want to see more of this in the future, of course, going on moving forward. Again, they're trying. They really want you guys to push out there. They're trying. They want you. Again, I said during the Dallas celebration when they got this survey, I was like, um, they want you guys to reach out there. They want you to answer these questions. They want to improve the game, like Legends, for example. They do like surveys and stuff like that here and there. Yeah, so I think they do like, it's kind of like monthly ish. They used to do it, but then they're like, okay, do you want to see the game improve? Do you want to see, like, you know, items, like, like Chrono Crystals and stuff like that and proof. You know, I guess you want to see more characters. I haven't seen the Legends server like that. I haven't done really videos like things like that. But yeah, again, they want your feedback. They want you to hear support. They want you to hear this. They want to keep improving the game. They want you to keep improving. They want you to keep going on and on and on and on. They want to keep the game alive and stuff like that. And it was pretty lively at this point. The Hero Celebration this year was amazing. I think everybody loved it. There's no complaints. Again, every unit was a featured unit. I wonder if you can put a Vegeta a sticker on Vegeta. I don't think you can. I just want to see someone put a Vegeta sticker on him. Hopefully, uh, can you just kind of duck unit, but it's also a crossover unit. I gotta try that, bro. So yeah, see you guys later. Though. I'm gonna get into here. Like I said, um, so yeah, see you guys later though. Again though, peace out.